Hi guys, it's Danielle and today I want to talk about five books that I need to read before the year ends. I actually did a blog post like this last year and I think I read one of them <laughs> that year, so... But I thought I would try it again. I have kind of planned my TBR for the rest of the year. I'm not buying books at the moment and I'm trying not to add any books to my TBR. So that also means that I'm trying to refrain from requesting books from publishers because I'm trying to get my t physical TBR under 100, which currently at this, this point I'm on 110. So I literally have to read 10 books before the year ends and I'll get under 100. So 10 books, by the end of the year it is currently October so it's definitely possible but I don't want to get ahead of myself so I've picked five books that I definitely want to try and get to three of them are actually on my TBR for this month so hopefully I get around to them without further ado let's just jump in and talk about these books the first book that I want to read for 2018 ends is Language of Thorns by Leigh Bardugo. This one hasn't been my, on my TBR for that long. I bought it in April. I do have it on audio as well, so I might just try and listen to it on audio. But I've heard so many good things about it and I feel like it'll be a fairly easy read purely because it's all just a bunch of short stories set in the Grisha verse so and I just I love Levi Dugo's writing and her worlds hopefully I can get around to this one I'm hoping to get it read this month but who knows but yeah I'm really looking forward to jumping into these beautiful fairy tale short stories the next one I also have the audiobook of as well as the physical copy and it is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I'm probably like the only person in the book community that, that hasn't read this book yet. I've just heard it's really sad and so I've been putting it off because I just haven't been in the mood for a sad book for a while so you know. I don't really know much about this book other than it's about two siblings and how they've kind of grown apart and why they've grown apart. I 100% bought this book because so many people love it. I have read Jandy Nelson's other book, The Skies Everywhere, and I enjoyed it, but it wasn't amazing or anything. So I'm hoping I enjoy this one more and I'm hoping that I read it this month. But we will see, I guess. And the next book, again, I want to read this month. Again, this one I haven't owned for a really long time. It's I've probably had it on my shelves for about a year. It's really, really chunky and it intimidates the hell out of me. And it is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. I have heard so many amazing things about this book. I've been dying to read it since I bought it. I keep putting it off. It's kind of like with The Book Thief. I just put The Book Thief off for so long because the size of it just scared me and I just didn't want to pick it up but I've heard such great things about this book and it's also told in like mixed media with like news articles and that kind of stuff so I'm hoping that it's not going to take me as long to read it as it <laughs> as it looks hopefully I can pick it up and finish it before the year ends the next book I'm hoping to pick up in the next couple of months and is more happy than not by Adam Silvera I don't know why I've left this one to last, like I've read all of his other books and I've really enjoyed them. I've heard this one is probably his most heartbreaking book and all of his books are pretty heartbreaking. Again, with sad books I've always just kind of got to be in the right mood for them. I'm hoping I enjoy it as much as everybody else, but hopefully I can read it before the year ends. The last book that I really want to try and read before 2018 ends is The Female of the Species by Mindy McGuinness. This is another one that I bought when I was in America back in April, so again, I haven't had it on my TBR for a very long time, but I've just heard so many amazing things about it. I don't really know a whole lot about this book, but I do know that feminism plays a huge role in it, and so I'm super, super excited to pick it up. I hope I enjoy it as much as everybody else has, and I really can't wait to pick it up, so that's why I want to read it before the year ends because I think I will really, really love it. So, yeah. But yeah, they're all the books that I want to read before the year ends. Obviously, I still want to read a lot more books. These are the ones that I am definitely going to try and read. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts were, if you loved them, if you hated them, 
obviously don't spoil them for me because obviously I haven't read them yet. Let me know what books you want to read before the year ends, if you've got any, if you've even thought about it. It's kind of scary to think about how close Christmas and the end of the year is, like, what the fuck? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!